This will be called me, N-I-1. And the reason for that is that I'm going to talk about two books by Hua Ching Ni. You see his name right there, Hua Ching Ni. And this is the first book on the um, Dao De Jing. But he also adds a second book to it, which is called Hua Hu Ching. Now, one thing about me was he came from a long ancestor list of those who were Taoist masters all the way back many years. Uh, and he inherited this whole tradition. Plus, another thing about him was that he had this type of memory that was so uh, powerful that what he learned years and years ago, he would remember, wouldn't even have to write it down. So that's why in this section, the second section here, Hua Hu Ching, that was something that was lost, but his memory brought it back. So that is why this is one book that I treasure for him. And then the other one, of course, is the I Ching. We will talk about that in a moment. But first of all, before we go on with this, I will read you the very first one in here. Now, there is a picture of Master Ni right there. And uh, I have several pictures of him. And this first one here I will read you, which is the first one of the Tao Te Ching, number one. Now, listen carefully to the way he lays this out. It says, Tao, the subtle reality of the universe, cannot be described. That which can be described in words is merely a concept of the mind. Though names and descriptions have been applied to it, the subtle reality is beyond the description. One may use a thousand a, a word nothingness to describe the origin of the universe, or beingness to describe the mother of the myriad things. Not nothingness nor beingness are merely conceptions. Now let me finish that in a moment. We're in the middle of that first one. 